So the railways reshaped the city and its surroundings like nothing before it. By 1870, the railways were delivering 200,000 people into the heart of the city every day. Men and women who stuffed the merchants' offices, the banks, the insurance companies that generated the city's wealth. Between the 1840s and the 1870s, these institutions transformed the city with a firework display of architectural virtuosity. But this incredibly destructive uh, development led to uh, the fundamental changes in creating the, the, the commerce uh, of, of the city. Before the square mile, uh, before the railways, the square mile had been largely made up of residential scale Georgian buildings. It was now transformed. And because of the coming of the railways, 80% of the buildings standing in the city in 1855 were demolished and replaced by 1900. So in 50 years, because of the massive commercial development enabled by all these people coming into the city, 80% of the city was completely replaced. The population of London, as a consequence, fell from 129,000 in 1850 to only 26,000 in 1900. 